good afternoon to everyone good afternoon sir good afternoon good afternoon sir good afternoon sir good afternoon okay thank you so now today i'm going to start unit number 2 for each series so before uh, going to the uh, for each series just uh, we will see where it is applied okay uh, and uh, and the, what is the use of four year series what is the advantages of four year series okay so periodic functions appear in a, a variety of uh, physical problems such, uh, such as those containing uh, vi vibrating springs and the membranes planet, planet, uh, planetary motions and swinging a pendulum and the musical sounds in some of these problems the periodic functions uh, may be quite complicated okay and hence in order to understand its uh, basic nature better it may be convenient to represent it in a series of simplest periodic function so since uh, trigonometric functions are the simplest examples of periodic functions we usually look for series representation in terms of sine and cosine actually originally so fourier series was applied in the study of vibration and heat heat diffusion uh, there are uh, numerous problems in the science and engineering in which sinusoidal signals and hence uh, fourier series play an important role for example sinusoidal signals are useful in describing periodic behavior of the earth climax climate uh, alternating uh, current sources generate sinusoidal voltage and currents fourier analysis enables us to analyze the response of a linear system, linear time invariant system such as circuit to such sinusoidal inputs wave in the ocean consists of the linear combination of sinusoidal waves with the different wavelengths signals transmitted by radio and the television are sinusoidal in nature okay so so i will i just i will i will tell you the but i am not going to write some of the advantage and the, some of the because just to you uh, you should know these things okay so i just to tell use of fourier series the first use is uh, fourier series are particularly suitable for expansion of periodic function so if you want you can write in your notebook a fourier series are particularly suitable for expansion of periodic functions so i think you know the definition of periodic function we discussed uh, in the laplace transform and the advantage of fourier series is uh, i think you know taylor series you may study taylor series maybe the plus 1 plus 2 level okay so uh, taylor series okay uh, so discontinuous functions can be represented by fourier series that is that is main advantage of fourier series maybe i will write in the uh, previous page here discontinuous okay so i just i want to tell you uh, important thing uh, today it is finalized the first c syllabus is only first unit okay yes, yes okay. sir okay and then 
mark is only for 20 maximum marks okay question yes. question type is uh, uh, there are uh, three questions six three into six 80 okay what? six six more questions three questions there is no choice three into six 20 uh, there are two one more questions two into one two. so totally 20 yes oh. sir. so discontinuous function can be represented by four year series okay although derivatives of derivatives of the continuous function of derivatives of the uh, discontinuous function is exist or not exist derivatives of the discontinuous function do not exist Okay, so this is a major advantage of Fourier series. Discontinuous function can be expressed, can be represented by Fourier series, although derivatives of the discontinuous function do not exist. Actually, this is not true for Taylor series. Okay, wow. so you cannot represent uh, discontinuous function in terms of uh, Taylor series expansion. This is the main advantage. And the second one, uh, the Fourier series is useful in expanding the periodic function. Okay, uh, the space is here. Okay, okay, I'll I'll write here. The Fourier series the Fourier series is useful okay expanding in expanding in expanding the periodic functions since outside the closed interval outside the closed interval there exists here there exists here periodic there exists here periodic extension of the function of the function okay so next uh, okay. a representation in the form of trigonometric series of sines and cosines okay uh, this is the representation a naught by 2 plus the summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus b n into sine nx uh, was given by french mathematical physics uh, physics four year those of four year in 1822 or in his work on the mathematical theory of heat conduction or just heat. Okay. This uh, representation was one of the most path breaking events in applied mathematics. 
okay an infinite trigonometric series f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus the summation n equal to 1 to infinity uh, a n in the cos n pi pi x n pi pi x by l plus b n into sin n x by l is called Fourier series of f of x in the interval c comma c plus 2 m this is a general form okay wow. this is a general form c comma uh, c plus 2 l where the Fourier coefficients are given by a naught so a naught equal to 1 by l integral c to c plus 2 l f of x dx a n is equal to 1 by l integration c to c plus 2 l f of x into cos n pi x by l into dx dm 1 by l integration c to c plus 2 l if the f of uh, integrate is what f of x into sin n pi x uh, by l into dx okay so from this definition uh, okay so if, if you want to find the four e series you need to find what a naught a m b m okay these three so these three are depending upon the uh, uh, integral of the function given function f of x so you should know very well uh, integration especially okay so and you should know uh, to find uh, you should uh, correctly find the interval okay well, because the limit is also very important here. So next condition, Dirichlet condition. So if this condition is satisfied, then only you can write the given function uh, in for you series form. A function f of x defined in the interval c comma c plus 2l can be expressed as an infinite trigonometric series of the form a naught by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n into cos n pi x by l plus b n into sin n pi x by l provided the following conditions are satisfied what is the first condition if uh, first condition is f of x is single valued and finite in the interval c comma c plus 2 l uh, second condition f of x is continuous or piecewise continuous uh, with the finite number of discontinuous in the interval c comma c plus 2 l third condition f of x ha has no maximum minima or finite number of maximum minima in the interval uh, c comma c plus 2 l so suppose uh, this condition is important for example, point of view also, uh, you should remember this condition. If this condition is satisfied, then only you can write f of x, uh, f of x is defined in the interval, can be expressed in this form. This form means infinite uh, trigonometric series like this. You can write the given function. So one more thing you should, uh, you should remember, convergence theorem. The first one is, uh, the Fourier series of f of x converges to f of x at all points where f of x is continuous. Thus, if f of x is continuous at x is equal to a, then the sum of Fourier series when x is equal to a is f of a. So, I will just again recall whenever we use this uh, convergence theorem, so then only you know how to use this result. Okay. Second one is if x is equal to a is a point where f of x has finite discontinuity, okay, uh, finite discontinuity, then the graph of f of x has a finite jump at x is equal to a. Therefore, the sum of four is series of f of x at this point of discontinuity x is equal to a is given by half into limit h tends to 0 uh, f of uh, a minus h that is a, this is a left hand limit 
this is the right hand limit okay f of a minus h plus f of a plus h so now uh, just to we will solve some simple problem first problem is uh, find the fourier series for f of x t is equal to pi x for 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 pi into 2 minus x for 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 and hence deduce that and hence deduce that 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 5 square and so on which is equal to pi square by 8 okay so now uh, first is you should find the what is the length of the interval what is the length of the interval here Uh, two, sir. Huh? two sir uh, yeah how two, is sir. two how sir x is ranging from zero to uh, actually zero to two okay wow. so two minus this is the end point okay this is the starting point so two minus zero equal to two so it may be defined like this zero to one one to two but uh, this is the starting value of x this is the end value so it should be 2 minus uh, 0 the length of interval is 2 so therefore 2l equal to what as per the, this definition okay well, what is the yeah here it is defined in the interval c comma c plus 2l that means c plus uh, 2l minus c equal to what 2l okay so the length of the interval is what 2l so now 2l equal to 2 okay this implies l equal to what 1 l equal to 1 now what is f of x general form please tell which is equal to a naught by 2 plus uh, summation n equal to 1 to whether you wrote or not already. This so is a general function n is equal to 1 to infinity. Ah. A n cos n x plus b ah. n sin n x. Yeah. So at least uh, minimum of one or two classes, uh, if you tell, then you can easily remember. That's why I'm asking you. So a n into cos n pi x l l is what one plus b n into sine n pi x by l l is one. So close the bracket. So n varies from one to infinity. So now we, in, we need to find a naught a n b n okay what is a naught 
cannot equal to 1 by l r 1 by l, l, l is 1 uh, integral 0 to 1 by l uh. integration c to c plus ah uh, so in general c to c plus 2 l but here what 0 to 2 is it correct yes sir. yeah 0 to 2 0 to 2 f of x into dx. What is a n? 1 by l, l is 1, integral c to c plus 2 l, here 0 to 2, okay, f of x into cos n pi x by l, l is 1 l is 1 into dx. Similarly, bn. bn is what? 1 by l, l is 1. Integral 0 to 2, uh, f of x into sin n pi x by 1 into dx. Suppose if you have any doubts uh, to find the value of l or to write a naught a and bn, you can ask to me because this is the basic. Okay. No so doubts. Now, no doubts. Okay. Thank you. So now I am going to find the a naught first. A naught equal to this is one. So integral. I can split the integral zero to two is zero to one and one to two. Zero to one. In this interval, what is f of x? Uh, pi x, uh, pi x into dx plus 1 to 2. In this interval, f of x is what? Pi into 2 minus x into dx. Okay, now pi into, if you integrate, you get what? x square by 2 integral from 0 to 1 plus uh, here pi is constant. So if you integrate 2 minus x, 2 minus x whole square uh, divided by 2 minus x whole square divided by minus 2. Can you write like this directly? Because if you integrate 2 minus x, you will get whole power 2 divided by 2. And then if you differentiate the minus x, will get minus 1. So 2 minus x power 2 divided by 2 into minus 1. Yes. Okay. Now, substitute the limits 5 by 2. Upper limit is 1, lower limit is 0. Here, minus 5 by 2. Minus 5 by 2. If you substitute the upper limit for x, 2 minus 2 is 0, minus lower limit if you substitute x is equal to 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 square is 1. So pi by 2 plus pi by 2. So pi by 2 plus pi by 2 is pi. So we got a naught. So next we need to find a n. So a n is uh, uh, integral 0 to 2, already we know that integral 0 to 2 f of x into what? f of x into cos, cos n pi x, n pi x dx. So a Fourier series is not that much difficult as uh, for Laplace because in Laplace you have so many methods. Okay, well. But here, uh, there are some methods, but in all the problems, you need to find A naught A and B. Okay? Yes. So, this is a little bit easier for you. Uh, maybe some of you feel a little bit uh, uh, boring because there is no challenging, uh, because just integration. Okay? Well. Huh? It's okay. So, anyway, we need to study because it is in the syllabus. So, now we should integrate uh, 
zero to one first. Okay, wow. zero to one. Zero to one. What is f of x? Pi x into cos m pi x into dx plus one to two. In this interval, we have what? Pi into two minus x into cos m pi x dx. Okay. So I think we, now we should use the Bernoulli's formula for integration. Uh, take pi commonly. So you should keep x as it is. If you integrate cos pi uh, cos n pi x, you will get what? Uh, sin n pi x divided by uh, coefficient of x is what? n pi minus, if you differentiate x, you get 1. If you integrate sin uh, n pi x by n pi, you will get minus cos n pi x by uh, n square pi square. So, limit is from 0 to 1. Okay. Next. Yeah, n pi is for denominator for full term, no, sir. Not on the Sorry, Srila. N? Sir, for sign, for angle, you put uh, denominator, sir. For whole thing, only it should be denominator. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, sign n pi pi x uh, divided by n pi. Okay, wow. So sin n pi x divided by n pi. Similarly here, uh, minus, uh, minus 1 into, uh, if you differentiate, if you integrate this, you'll get what? Minus cos n pi x divided by what? n pi. So limit is from 0 to 1. Okay. So next plus pi into. So take 2 minus x as it is. If you integrate cos n pi x, you'll get what? Uh, sin n pi x divided by n pi minus if you differentiate 2 minus x you'll get minus 1 if you integrate sin n pi x by n pi we will get uh, minus cos n pi x divided by n square pi square so limit is from 1 to 2 okay so now sir yeah Ashi. Sir, limit 0 to 1 Cos n pi by n pi x divided by n square n square pi square. You get an Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay. So now this is zero for both upper limit as well as lower limit. The reason is if you substitute uh, x is equal to 1, sin n pi. Okay, well, sin n pi is what? Zero. Si zero. Okay, sin pi, sin 2 pi, sin 3 pi, sin 4 pi. For all values of n, sin n pi is 0. Similarly, lower limit, sin 0 is what? 0. So, that's why I don't bother about the first expression. Similarly, <coughs> here, This is 0 because again the same reason sin uh, here how what 2 n pi sin 2 n pi 0 here what lower limit is what sin uh, n pi 0 so that's why the first term is 0 so I need to concentrate only about the uh, only the second term okay uh, the, the second term if, uh, I think uh, uh, minus of minus plus so pi uh, here n square pi square is uh, constant 
n square phi square. Remaining we have, so when you substitute x is equal to 1, cos n phi minus cos 0 is 1. This is over. Next, minus, minus, minus. So minus phi divided by n square phi square upper limit cos 2n phi minus cos n phi. Okay. So what is cos n phi? In general. Minus 1 or 1. Uh, minus 1 or 1 is correct. Yeah. So, when it is minus 1? When it is odd, sir. When it is n, n is odd, it is minus 1. When n is even, it is plus 1. Okay. Yeah. So, in general, cos n pi is equal to minus 1 whole power n. So, it is equal to uh, 1 by n square pi after cancelling pi, 1 by n square pi. Uh, you have cos n pi is what? Minus 1 whole power n. You can write here. Since cos n pi equal to minus 1 whole power n. Okay. And then uh, minus 1. Okay. And then plus or minus or minus 1 by n square pi into cos 2n pi. What is cos 2n pi? 1. 1. one. Yes, yes. 1. 1 minus 1. Na. 1 minus, sorry, cos n pi. Cos n pi is minus 1 minus whole power. Yeah, yeah, minus 1 whole power n. So now I am taking commonly 1 by n square pi. So remaining you have minus 1 whole power n minus 1 minus 1 plus minus 1 whole power n. So this is equal to uh, 2 times minus 1 whole power n minus 2. I will take 2 commonly 2 by n square pi into minus 1 whole power n minus 1. So this is a n. Okay. Similarly, we need to find b n. What is b n? 1 by 1 na. 1 by l. l is 1. So integral uh, 0 to 2 f of x into sine n pi x by uh, l is 1 into dx. You want to write, you can write here 1 by 1. 1 by l is 1. Okay. So now, so which is equal to, you can divide the whole interval into two intervals. 0 to 2 is what? 0 to 1. So in the 0 to 1 f of x into uh, sin n pi x sin n pi x into dx plus 1 to 2 f of x into sin n pi x into dx. Okay. So now it is equal to f of x in this interval 0 to 1 is what? pi x. So pi into integral 0 to 1 x into sin n pi x into dx. So in this interval f of x is what? pi into uh, 2 minus x into sin n pi x into dx. Okay. So now again integration. So pi into so you should keep x uh, if you integrate sine you get minus cos n pi x divided by n pi 
minus if you differentiate x you'll get one if you integrate this you'll get what uh, minus sine n pi x divided by n square pi square close the bracket limit is from 0 to 1 and the next plus pi into uh, so keep 2 minus x into if you integrate uh, sine n pi x you will get minus cos n pi x divided by n pi minus uh, if you differentiate 2 minus x you will get minus 1 if you integrate uh, minus cos n pi by x you will get minus uh, sine n pi x divided by n pi. Limit is from 0 to 1. So again here, this is 0 for both upper limit as well as lower limit. Sin n pi, sin 0. Similarly, this is 0 for both upper limit as well as lower limit. So only we need to consider the first term. So here, uh, the first term is, uh, okay, I will write here. So, pi pi gets cancelled. Okay, wow. Well. So, so, limit is from 1 to 2, sir. Ah, okay. Here, ah. Uh, yes, sir. I think here 1 to 2, ah. Uh. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Okay. yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So, okay, anyway, it is zero. Okay, wow. huh? this is zero uh, for zero to one and one to two. Okay, now pi pi gets cancelled. Upper limit is x. So, what is constant? One by n is constant. Minus is also I took uh, minus one by n. What is remaining? Uh, x. You have x. So, one uh, into cos n pi okay i will write cos n pi minus have zero so x because of this term this is zero and minus pi pi gets cancelled minus one by n for upper limit two minus two zero for lower limit uh, two minus one is one here you have cos n pi So, what you will get uh, uh, Bn, uh, we are calculating Bn, okay, Bn equal to uh, minus 1 by n into, I think minus 1 by n I took commonly, remaining is what? cos n pi cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n minus uh, minus a plus a okay. uh, I think uh, here minus here plus I took minus 1 by n now nah. okay so now so there plus uh, second uh, here yes. mm, No, it is for correct. In, for integral 1 to 2, it is plus no, sir, here, in the, between two expressions. Here, ah. Uh, ah, yes. No, sir. Here. Sir, minus, minus 1 by n cos n pi minus 0 plus 1 by n into 0 minus cos n pi. Here, uh -huh. uh, first, uh, I applied, uh, yeah, here, ah. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, please write. But here, we have minus sign. Okay, Sheila. Okay, sir. Okay. It is minus. Okay. So, so I took minus 1 by n common. If I take minus 1 by n common, remaining we have what? Here cos n pi. Cos n pi is what? Minus 1 full power n. Okay. So, I took minus 1 by n common. Remaining have minus cos n pi. So, minus of minus, uh, minus 1 whole power n. So, Bn equal to 0. 
कभी ये नहीं सर एनी डाउट क्या ओके सो नाउ व्हाट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू के नॉट बाय टू ओके वा सो प्लीज सर टेल दिस फॉर्म एक्चुअली दिस दिस फॉर्म ओके सब्स्टिट्यूट ए नॉट ए एन बी एन वैल्यू हियर ओके सो व्हाट इज ए नॉट pi so pi by 2 i will write please check it pi by 2 uh, plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity uh, an into cos n pi by x uh, what is an 2 divided by n square pi ah uh, n square pi okay into minus 1 whole power n minus 1. minus 1 whole power n minus 1 na uh? yes Into cos n pi x by one. There is no need to write one. Okay. So and the b n is zero. We know that. So that's why I don't write b b n. Okay. So only we can write uh, uh, a n into cos n x. So what is next? B n into suppose b n is not equal to zero. Then you should write what plus b n into sine. n pi x ah b n into sin n pi x by l l is 1 okay. so now the first part is over what is the first part again i will need to go to the question find the fourier series of f of x that is over so and hence deduce that okay this one You need to uh, find one by one square plus one by three square plus one by five square plus and so on is equal to pi square by eight. So maybe this this is little bit little bit challenging. For this, you should use the idea uh, convergence theorem. So for deduction, always you need to use convergence theorem. So uh, this is. By trial and error, error method only. Okay, you, uh, you cannot tell uh, just by uh, ins uh, inspection. Okay, sometimes you can get easily, but only oh, the only idea I can give. We should substitute the values of x uh, uh, in between the values of zero and two. Either you can substitute zero or one or two or any other values between zero uh, and two. And to check it whether uh, is whether we can find the uh, expansion of this series. So now I I am going to check you. Uh, what values of x you will get this expansion? The you need to substitute the values of x here. Okay, wah. Left hand side also, right hand side also. So which value you prefer? Actually, uh, first f of x is defined. What? It is defined first in the interval what uh, zero less than or equal to x less than or equal to one na. Yes, is it correct? Yes, yeah. Sir. And then uh, it is pi x. It is pi x. It is uh, it is pi into two minus x in the interval one less than or equal to x less than or equal to two. So which value you are going to substitute? Sir, just to try, it may be. Uh, I told you this is a trial and error method. Sir, two, sir. Two. Okay. So, any other option? This is for the second part of the question, sir. The second part of the question. Yes. Sir. Uh, no, sir. One, sir. One will only come, sir. uh so e first option is always uh, it is better to put zero okay va so zero is a, something uh, uh, because if you substitute zero here you'll get what cos zero is what one one okay va so that's why i want to substitute first x is equal to zero okay so now 
put x is equal to 0 in equation 1. This is equation 1. Okay. So actually, what is, again, I will, I want to write f of x. What is f of x? Uh, pi x in the interval 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1. Okay. And uh, pi into 2 minus x in the interval uh, 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2. Okay. So actually, 0 is, is in this interval. Okay, well, not in this interval, it is in this interval. And also 0 is also included because less than or equal to. So x is equal to 0 is a point of continuity. If it is, x is not here, then it is a point of discontinuity. So here x is equal to 0 is a point of point of Continuity. If it is a point of continuity, I gave the convergence theorem. Now I will take convergence theorem. Uh, if f of x is continuous at x is equal to a, then the sum of Fourier series when x is equal to a is f of a. Okay, well, I am going to use the first condition, first subdivision. So that means if you understand the first subdivision, what is the left hand side? Again, you want to see convergence theorem? Okay. So I need, I am expecting answer from you. The Fourier series f of x converges. Okay. That, uh, okay. I will start from here. If f of x is continuous at x is equal to a, our function f of x is that oh, the fourth one, fourth one. Fourth or four, sir. Uh, binomial distribution. Okay. So if f of x is continuous at x is equal to a, in our problem, f of x is continuous at where? X is equal to zero. Yeah, at x is equal to zero. Yeah. Then the sum of the four years series. Okay, what? Well, then the sum of the Fourier series when x is equal to a is 0 is f of 0, sir. f of 0. F of zero. Okay. So now, here you need to write what? Left, left, left hand side, f of 0. The sum of the Fourier series, this is the sum of the Fourier series, right hand side is equal to f of 0. So now f of 0 equal to, here also you should substitute x is equal to 0, you will get what? Pi by 2 plus pi by 2 plus 1. Summation, uh, uh, here also I take a commonly 2 by pi. 2 by pi commonly, because 2 by pi is what? Constant. It is independent of here. Summation n equal to 1 to infinity, uh, okay, 2 by n square into minus 1 whole power n. You have taken the 2 out, sir. Oh, okay. Thank you. So, 1 by n square into minus 1 whole power n minus 1. Cos n pi, uh, cos this is 0. Sorry, cos uh, 0 is 1 because x is equal to 0, okay. Now, what is the f of 0? Pi x. Pi x. Ah, pi x. But x zero. is equal to 1. 0. Yes, correct. Pi zero. x. Yeah, x is equal to 0. Very good. So, uh, pi, in, pi into x. Okay. But x is equal to 0. So, which is equal to pi by 2. So, if you initially understand these concept, concepts, uh, you don't need my help. You can take Virajan book, you can solve any problems from the 
uh, from example problem or exercise problem. Okay, so okay, pi by two plus two by pi summation n equal to one to infinity minus one whole power n minus one divided by n square. Okay, so this is zero. Now I am going to write this expression is equal to minus pi by two, two by pi. Uh, 2 by pi summation okay what well, n equal to 1 to infinity yeah. minus 1 whole power n minus 1 divided by n square okay which is equal to what minus pi by 2 okay so now from this this summation is equal to what now summation n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 whole power n minus 1 divided by n square is equal to minus pi by pi square by 4. Now substitute n equal to 1. If n equal to 1, uh, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, uh, minus 2 by 1 square. If n equal to 2 means uh, plus 1, minus 1, 0. If n equal to 3, 3 means uh, again minus 2 by 3 square. n equal to 4, 0. n equal to 5, minus 2 by 5 square. And next to plus and so on, which is equal to minus pi square by 4. So now take commonly minus 2, we will get uh, 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by pi square plus and so on which is equal to minus pi square by 4. The final answer is 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 3 square uh, plus 1 by pi square which is equal to uh, pi square by 8. So I think you, uh, you understand this problem. If you have any doubt in this problem, you can ask to me. Could you show the previous page, sir? Previous slide, okay. Sir, how f of 0 became pi of 0, sir? Oh, yeah, f of 0, actually 0 is in this interval, the first interval. Huh? Yes, sir. In this first interval, what is f of x? Pi x. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, when x is equal to 1 or x, x lies between the interval of 0 to 1, f of x is pi x. So that's why I write pi into x, but x is equal to 0. Yes. Okay. So now I will give one practice problem because I need to catch the university bus. Uh, maybe I will continue tomorrow. So second problem. Uh, find the Four year series for find the four year series for f of x is equal to x square in the interval uh, minus pi to plus pi and hence. Deduce the values of values of uh, subdivision one summation n equal to one to infinity one by n square subdivision two summation n equal to one to infinity minus 1 whole power n plus 1 divided by n square subdivision 3 uh, summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 2n minus 1 whole square so okay one more thing tomorrow i am going to start for mechanical group, uh, group uh, Fourier series okay well. So 
maybe uh, if you want to join you can join from the beginning or otherwise if you feel uh, it is boring then you can join uh, exactly at uh, i think uh, exactly 4 o'clock instead of 4:15 so you can join for tomorrow yes sir okay okay sir. even before no problem that is up to you you can decide but i send the link uh, earlier Yes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.